Next question is from T. Calamon. What is the most effective way to bulk? What are your guys' secrets or perspectives on trying to bulk up? All right, so step one with bulking is this. Have a good workout. Have a good workout that is sending a muscle-building signal. Because if you try to bulk on a workout that's not effective, you will just get fatter. Um, And when you're doing an effective workout, you don't need to push your calories nearly as much because your body wants to build muscle. So step number one, train in a way that's really effective for building muscle. Well, what is, I think we need to what what you mean by that. I think is really important too. Is that because somebody might be listening and going like, "Oh, I I do that. I, I right. have a good muscle building routine." And if more importantly, probably something you're not used to doing is the best thing you do. If that's I was just going there. Yeah. So uh, if you think you're you're doing something, you have a great muscle building routine, or you have a great program you're following. If you've been doing that for a while, it's not a great one to be doing while you're also adding a ton of calories because the uh, the gains that you're getting from the way you've been training, if you've been doing that for weeks or months on end, have diminished so much. Now you increase a, a, a calorie intake, so you decide you're going to go on the bulk, still running the same routine. Well, you've already kind of adapted and changed the, the bulk of your changing. Like it, Everybody knows that you get the, the beginning of a program or the beginning of training anything – you get most of the gains at the beginning, mm-hmm. and then it, it it falls off, and it, it, over time it slows way down. So if you decide that you're going to make a calorie surplus when you're at the tail end or you've been following a program for a long period of time, it, you're not giving a, a good place for a lot of those extra calories to go. You want to do something like – so if I'm like somebody who's following like a MAPS Black or a bodybuilding type of routine consistently – and I want, and I know I'm going to give myself a surge of calories. I want to make sure I switch to something like strong, map strong, or I switch over to maps something really different than the than the maps like bodybuilding type of a program because I know that that novelty again will send a new signal to the body. I will get those kind of beginner type gains totally when I first start, and now I'm in a calorie surplus. So a lot. Of, so that's a that's a little secret right it's there. Totally think, perfect storm that way. Right. Yes. right. Send, send the right stimulus. Increase your calories. Okay. So step one was the workout. Step two, uh, increase your calories. So we've been talking about that, right? You have to take in more calories because you're you're trying to get your body to add. Uh, new tissue, and hopefully it's favorable tissue um, like muscle. Um, a high protein diet's important. Now that's important whether you, whether you're trying to bulk or cut. Okay, a, a higher protein diet preserves muscle when you're trying to cut, and also has a uh, much greater effect on on satiety, meaning it keeps you full longer. Um, and for bulking, you want a high protein diet because your body builds more muscle when your protein intake is high. Now, how much is is a, is the right amount? We talked about this uh, earlier in this episode. Um, about point, generally for most people, it's about 0.8 grams or one gram of protein per pound of body weight. If you're at a relatively normal body weight, if you're really obese, you can't use that number because that's just too high, right? If you're a 300 pound man, don't aim for 300 grams of protein. In that case, I would aim more for, you know, your, your lean body mass where you subtract your body fat, you know, after you get a body fat test. But in this case with bulking, you're probably somebody who is skinnier or whatever, you want to gain more weight. One gram of protein per pound of body weight. Carbohydrates are excellent for building muscle. So contrary to what some of the fitness influencers out there will say about low carb diets and you know that they're the best for everything, um, you know, and this of course on an individual basis, almost anything can be true when it comes to diet. But for the most part, carbohydrates help build muscle. They fuel. Your energy when you're lifting with weights, uh, they increase the intracellular fluid that's stored in your muscle, so you get they, they appear fuller and bigger. That also stimulates uh, muscle protein synthesis. They affect how your body recovers. You want to aim for uh, on the low end one gram of protein uh, of carbs per pound of, of body weight. Uh, on the high end for the faster metabolism people, two or three grams uh, where you're eating a lot of carbs. Um, go ahead. I I, I also avoid. Um starchy and uh, saturated fat early on in my day. I don't eliminate it from my diet. I avoid it early in the day because those things tend to slow down the digestive process for me and and it doesn't promote uh, hunger the same way as like a fast acting carb like rice yeah. would. Uh, that and that's a, a, a secret, right? Or a that's tip that uh, I've learned of from bulking so many times over years and years and years. 
Uh, I used to struggle as a kid because I, I'd start off with Eggo waffles and peanut butter and syrup, and I'd have all this stuff. But then I would just be, I would be, all the fat yeah, peter I'd be, out, yeah. yeah, I'd be so full that I didn't want anything till afternoon. Where uh, that's why I like doing things like uh, eggs, oatmeal, and like a, a whey protein shake was a, a staple morning breakfast for me when I was competing because I was hungry again for another meal within two hours. Then I was having steak and eggs and something else again. That makes you make a great point when you're bulking. Uh, don't chase fat, chase protein and carbs. Now, when it comes to fat, don't ch don't go for low fat stuff. So when you eat your protein, go ahead and eat the high fat. Protein sources. Right, right. Have a good, good ribeye steak. Yeah, and like the steaks and the ground beef, and the, and don't take the yolks out of your eggs. Eat the whole egg, and if you have dairy, have full fat dairy. Cook no, vegetables. Use olive oil. That's it. But no need to chase fat. Chase carbs and protein when you're bulking, and it's a way better strategy. If you try to chase I'm fat, a fat chaser. If, <laughs> if you think you're gonna get there all you your calories from fat, and you chase fat, like Adam says, you might find that you're just not gonna be able to uh, eat that much. And then the third thing I would say is sleep. Get really good sleep prioritize eight hours of sleep every single night i tell you what great diet great workout shitty sleep equals no muscle okay no muscle whatsoever you got to have the sleep has got to be a part of the formula i'll give you another one that uh for me that took a long time to piece together which was um i used to connect you know the more i train the harder i train in the gym the the more muscle that i would pack on and one of the best bulks or times i ever built uh, muscle was when I scaled back my training and you could be somebody like this. So just because you want to build muscle doesn't mean that all, the more you're in the gym is necessarily going to mean you're going to build more muscle, especially if you uh, fall on the side like I was, which is the fat kind of faster metabolism. Mm -hmm. I moved a lot through the day. So I was already burning a ton of calories. And then I'm throwing on seven intense workouts a week on top of a guy who already is stepping 15 to 20,000 steps. Man, it was just so hard to eat 5,000, 6,000 calories consistently. It was almost impossible for me. So scaling back on how often I was training, I wasn't training. I went from seven days down to four days, and man, I put on size like quick. Totally, totally. And it was probably a combination of two things, I would think. One, I was probably flirting in the overtraining area when I was training seven days a week. So just backing off the overtraining probably promoted some muscle growth. And then two cutting out three intense workouts was now saving now, now is an additional you know 1500 calories to 3000 calories my body is now using now or allocating over to building muscle so if you're somebody who can relate to that where you struggle with getting enough calories uh to to bulk up maybe assess how often you're training in, in, in the gym and maybe scaling back on more effective mm. workouts than driving the intensity uh, uh, thing. Also. I'll add one last thing, uh, creatine. Take creatine, great supplement for most goals, but especially for building muscle. Most people respond really, really well to creatine. Uh, a two to five grams a day would be enough, um, but it does put muscle on your body. Will not replace uh, the, your diet and your workout and your sleep. It's not going to give you the same effects as those things, but as far as supplements are concerned, creatine does help build muscle.